one of the most challenging aspect of dealing with our own feelings is of course facing the uncomfortable ones how we can do that safely i mean without falling into the heaviness of that experience hi and welcome i'm francesca and this is feel to meet you podcast and i've created this space to give you provoking questions and tools like in this video to help you grow and expand inside and outside of yourself living a more vital and loving and free life the journey I'm going to share is not designed to eliminate or repress your fear, right? Because your body is always, always right. Rather, it's designed to better deal with it, made to see it from a new perspective, to increase self-awareness and then freedom and then serenity. If at some point of the practice you feel that the feelings that raise up are too intense and you feel uncom uncomfortable for any reason, be absolutely free to thank your body, your mind, and your spirit for allowing you to experience what you experience and go out of the practice, right? There's nothing wrong with it or anything to judge. So, take a breath. Inhale, exhale, and when you inhale again, you can close your eyes, if you will, to go inward. Now pay attention to what is happening in your body, in your muscles. If there are some tensions here and there, so watch the rhythm of your chest going up and down. Just watch it. And observe if your throat is tight or relax. Become more and more aware of what is going inside of yourself. Like you were listening to a child that is still learning to speak. And if you are dealing with an abstract kind of fear of being abandoned, for example, visualize the scene that could raise that intense experience. And when you do that, don't forget to breathe. Being left by your boyfriend or your wife, for example, losing your job, Try to represent internally, try to visualize internally the situation of what you fear the most. And breathe, visualize it. And if what scares you is as a person, a disease or some material entity, visualize its image within you as clear as possible and now slowly acknowledge what is happening in the body when you visualize that really scary thing picturing it in your mind and allow this image occupy your body without trying to change anything. Observe the tension that the muscles are holding. Observe if, if your breathing is changing. See if you if you are keeping your breath or if, or if you, your breath is, is shallow. You don't have to change or control anything. Just observe. Then keep visioning that worry and observe the temperature of your body now, of your hands, for example. Are they cold? Are they hot? Pay attention to the muscle and the skin of your face. Can
Can you say if it's hot or cold or neutral? Remain willing to leave the experience, even if it's intense right now. It's intense. Stay there, simply observing your physiology without changing anything. Until you get to the worst moment you can tolerate. And when you are right inside all those feelings, when you see you have totally immerse yourself in it, keep breathing and try to notice if some part of your body suggests some action, some movement. If there's a gesture your body would like to do. And if so, visualize yourself, just visualize yourself making that gesture, that movement, making that action. May you want to run away or you want to face the danger. Or you want to use your leg, your arms, or you want to scream. Wherever it is, just visualize yourself completing that gesture. And if it's possible and you are comfortable in doing it, you can move your body and make that gesture. Be in that action Move that part of your body that your body suggests to move. Be in that experience and feel what happened inside of you. How your physiology changed by completing that movement. By completing that movement that you never allow yourself to imagine. And keep repeating that gesture, if you will, inside of yourself and outside until you feel that you begin to recover a state of balance. Or if you feel yourself freezed and there's no suggestion of action, Try to see which part of your body you can move. Maybe it could be your head or just, just to look around. Maybe you can move your wrist or just you can move just your eyes and simply look around. It can be a smaller, teeny tiny or it can be a big movement of your arm, for example. Just allow yourself to complete that gesture. Now that you are in this secret space with just yourself, your body and your soul, and no one can see you, no one can judge you, complete that movement. And now gradually notice if you can involve other parts of your body in the movement, whether your body suggests to move or not, and notice how your body change, how your body shift in energy within if you make those movements. You can repeat those movements as needed and at some point you come to a state where energy begin to to change and flow again you are no freeze anymore try to listen to what is happening and for someone you know at the level of your heart or at the level of your stomach how you feel there 
how you feel about yourself now. And recognize how much courage you just had. The courage that comes from feeling, from experiencing, from facing your fear. And just observe what happened within your body. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and observe if something changed in your body, if something changed in your thought, in your shoulders, in your stomach. And notice if something changed after this practice together. As anger leads to power, so fear is to courage. When you hold some worries or fear, if you feel it, you discover that you have the courage. Feel the fear gives you the courage to do what you really deeply, really want. So did you ever try this tool before? Do you feel something, something subtle shifted within you after this practice? Let me know in the comments below or if you feel more comfortable, send me a direct message on Instagram to start the conversation. Thank you so much for being with me. See you in the next video. I love you.